This next story comes courtesy of journalism by our colleagues at Radio Canada. The subject matter is difficult. People who say they were abused as children. But there's an additional allegation. They say their own faith community added to their pain. Alison Northcott has the story. She says it started when she was 10. And for five years, Melanie Poirier says she was sexually abused by her piano teacher every week. He was a prominent member of her Jehovah's Witness congregation. J'allais dire mon histoire et ça donnerait rien du tout. Rien. Pas été cru. 20 years later, with another alleged victim, she did come forward to leaders in her congregation. But rather than call police, she says they held what's called a judicial committee. Poirier had to detail her allegations to a panel of men and her piano teacher, who denied everything. Poirier is one of several former Jehovah's Witnesses who told their stories to Radio-Canada, criticizing the way the church handles allegations of sexual abuse. The church's internal policy requires two witnesses to establish wrongdoing. Then there's a judicial committee, where until this past summer, accusers had to confront their alleged abusers in front of a panel of elders. The Watchtower Society didn't want to acknowledge that these girls were telling the truth. Barbara Anderson is a former high-ranking member of the church in the U.S. She's been speaking out against the organization since she heard about allegations of abuse years ago and was allegedly told to keep quiet. It isn't only here in the United States because we were hearing from people across the seas. And so I thought and thought and thought, what can we do about this? What can we do about this to get the governing body to understand that this is a serious problem? In Australia, a government investigation discovered more than a thousand cases of alleged sexual abuse in Jehovah's Witness congregations, but none of them were reported. Not one was reported by the church to secular authorities. Melanie Poirier's alleged abuser was expelled from the church, but not permanently. And after waiting years, Poirier just recently brought her allegations to police. The Watchtower Society, the Jehovah's Witness parent organization, would not comment, but says it does not prevent its members from going to authorities. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.